Hey guys, new episode. Today we're talking about projectors. Uh, when we talk about projectors, we're concerned with things like overall lumens, uh, contrast ratio, resolution, throw distance, connective, connectivity options, uh, etc. Uh, instead of focusing on five products, I'm just going to focus on three. Uh, a sort of an entry level, ultra portable uh, projector, a sort of a more higher end, not as portable, but still fairly portable projector and a conventional old school design, um, uh, high lumens projector. Uh, a piece of sort of information to know beforehand, don't pick up really cheap Chinese projectors, specifically the stuff that you find on Amazon for under 15k. Uh, they really do nothing. Uh, they perform really badly uh, and you're going to feel really let down. Uh, with that being said, uh, let's swing right into it. First up, we have the Wanbo T6 Max, uh, which is a Chinese projector. However, it's something that I've used, so I can vouch for it. But 650 ANSI lumens, so decently bright, uh, has autofocus, auto keystone, uh, includes Android, uh, very portable, has speakers built in, uh, though you probably need um, an extra speaker to really get some serious volume out of it. Uh, despite the fact that it has Android, it's not going to be able to stream uh, Netflix or Amazon Prime Video uh, natively. You're going to have to use a Fire Stick. Uh, at the price point, really good value for money. You should be able to pick it up for about 32k, give or take. Uh, I think the MRP is about 39. So a decent value for money option. If you really want to get the most out of it, make sure the room is as black as possible. So cut off all kinds of light sources uh, with the help of curtains and things like that. Uh, basic steps to do this will definitely uh, increase the performance of the projector overall. Next up, we have the XGME Halo Plus, um, about 900 lumens, again, uh, supports 1080p natively, uh, auto keystone, auto focus, uh, everything that you need from a portable projector. It's a lot larger than the Wanbo, but still relatively portable, fits in a knapsack, fits in a backpack, um, has a decent speaker, but again, for Serious volume to go with the big picture, you're probably going to need a full-fledged uh, speaker system. Uh, again, it has Android, but for whatever reason, cannot stream Netflix natively, so you're going to have to invest in a Fire Stick if you want that. Uh, at 900 lumens, it is fairly bright, but again, to really see what this projector is capable of, you're going to get the, have to get the room as dark as possible. Um, at 95k, it's not cheap, but I think for someone who wants uh, the large screen experience at home without having to invest in a much larger projector that's going to require a bunch of cables uh, and other uh, related gear. Uh, this is probably the option to go for. Uh, next up, we have the Epson TW750, which recently replaced the TW650. Um, very, very popular among our clients, specifically those who are investing or have plans of investing into a full-fledged home theater. A lot larger than the other projectors we've spoken about. Uh, but has 3,500 lumens, 1080p, native playback, auto keystone, auto focus, uh, two HDMI inputs, everything that you would possibly need from a full-fledged uh, projector. Obviously, because of the form factor, it's fairly large. It's going to be stationary. It's not very mobile. You can't really lug it around. Um, but by virtue of just performance, it's definitely worth it. So if you're the sort of person who's building the long-term home theater, has a Blu-ray player, takes his or her movie experience, very seriously, uh, this is definitely the projector to go with. Uh, so there you have it, my three options. Uh, I think that if you're just starting off and you're primarily concerned with a larger picture and if you're willing to make some concessions with uh, the quality of the image, uh, the one bow is the way I'd go. Uh, I think if you've got the bucks uh, and portability is a big deal for you, uh, you don't necessarily have the time or the inclination to set up a big system with wires, etc. I think the XGME is the winner. Uh, overall, performance-wise, uh, the Epson is going to win. So if you're looking to set up the long-term uh, sort of higher-end projector system to go along with a fancy home theater, uh, I'd go in for the TW750. Uh, once again, don't buy the cheap, really, really cheap ones that you see on Amazon. Uh, just a total waste of time and waste of money. Um, everything that we've spoken about today is available uh, for purchase in links below. I've also got a basic primer again on how projectors work. Uh, what's a DLP? What's a LCD? Uh, you know, all the kinds of information that you need, what's contrast ratio, uh, etc. If you have comments or suggestions uh, or need consultation, you can reach out to me in the comments below. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the video and I hope to see you very, very soon.